So this is my friend Luca and yesterday was his birthday. So today we're going to go out and get a gift for him that you as a photographer can get for pretty much anyone you like, love or care about. I've only known him for a short time, that's why I would have already had the gift prepared if I knew it was his birthday yesterday. But I have to say that even though I've only known him a short time, I can tell we're gonna be really good friends and that honestly my life has become so much better since I've met him and met his friends, which are now my friends. And it's just been amazing to meet people around my age who share the same interests and passions and who we really, we just really get along really well and I have to say that. Shout out to you guys, all you know who you are, really love you guys. So before we go and get the actual gift, I have to finish up actually making the gift, which is just some final touches to a photo I took of his car, which he really, really loved. So we're gonna go get that photo actually printed and hopefully framed and give it to him and hopefully he likes it. I'm sure he will because he really loves his Beamer. Honestly, I think this is a great idea, specifically if you know someone who has a certain passion or interest in something and you've taken photos for them. For example, if you took some portrait photos of someone who wants to be a model or a dancer or someone who does art or something like that, you've taken some photos of them doing that. Obviously it doesn't have to be automotive related, it can be pretty much anything, but I just think that this works really, really well because he can hang up on his wall at his garage next to his car or whatever, and you know, it's just, us car guys are obsessed with just seeing photos of our own cars. So I'm just gonna finish up this photo, get it saved, and then head over to the print shop. So I got the print right here. I have to say it looks really, really good. I'm really happy with how it turned out, the framing, the colors. Got a nice frame included. Uh, Luca doesn't know he's getting this, by the way, so I'm excited to see what his reaction will be. We're gonna see him in about 30 minutes or so. So I'm gonna try to be a little bit stealthy so he doesn't get too suspicious with this big ass camera here. I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but I am sweating my ass off because it is boiling hot in the car. So I'm gonna hit the road, get the AC on, and meet up with Luca. So yeah, I just made it to Luca's place. Got the print right here. Now we just wait for him and he should be here any minute. There he is, the one and only. Nice rims, bro. Wow. Looking good. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, it looks good. Oh, yep. Yeah, boy. What is that? What? Yeah. You gonna be something? Yeah, no, bro. You I feel kind of bad though because you got different wheels now. <laughs> no, it's good, it's good, it's good. Yeah. No, oh, no, no way. Wow, oh, you was amazing. Holy shit. Go. So I quickly want to recap and explain um, how I actually met Luca, which is entirely through pure coincidence and the fact that I actually decided to get into photography. I went to a local Cars and Coffee. He happened to spot me and recognize me since, let's be honest, I don't look very, very Asian or very, very Thai. So yeah, that's, that's actually quite wrong, you know? Yeah, but compared to like Thai people, I'm not like, I'm not like Thai Thai, bro. <laughs> yeah, because the first time we met, you told me that, oh, I saw you at Cars and Coffee, you have the white EG. Did we really say that? Yeah, you said that. No way. Yeah. What? Just because of the fact that I actually bought a camera, decided to go out and do photography and everything that I happened to meet Luca. And like I said earlier, it's like, I finally feel like I've been able to like combine my two passions, which are photography and cars, automotive shit in general. To like its full potential and it's just really awesome that's why i always say get into photography you're never gonna know who you're gonna meet uh, what kind of people you're gonna meet and what kind of crazy adventures it's gonna lead to like seriously there's almost no downside apart from spending a lot of fucking money <laughs> to photography so seriously Could like be to, a yes person yeah Say yes to everything. yeah exactly great opportunity don't just wait for things to happen to you you know you know sitting on your lazy ass waiting for things to happen waiting for people to like you know come you know, inquire about your services. You know, you like post it out. Yeah. You basically said, hey, come, everybody who's interested, I'm gonna do a free photo shooting yeah. with whatever you have, motorbike, car, I don't know, your model. <laughs> yeah. there, right? Like I said, yeah. you just go out Quite and good. meet people and yeah, you're gonna meet some awesome people, make some cool things and cool shit happen. Hope you enjoy the prints. Actually turns out pretty good. It's a good idea if you know someone who, could use a print, get it, it's cheap and it looks good. 
And yes, I know this video is different from my usual ones. I'm going to try to incorporate vlogging a little bit more into the channel and uh, want to give more insight into how photography is properly integrated into my life. Almost every day I do something related to photography or something is happening because of my photography. And uh, I just want to give you guys a little bit more insight and hopefully this can either motivate people, give some people some knowledge or education. Uh, you guys will get to know me a little bit better. So definitely I think it's a good idea and let me know what you think, but expect more vlogging content. I'm going to try to be a little bit more consistent. Also check out my preset pack if you want to make your editing life easier. It's light, six Lightroom presets that I use all the time. Actually the print that I gave Luca, one of my presets is literally that print that I gave to him. So if you want to really, you know, support the channel, I really would appreciate that. If you enjoyed the video, I'd definitely appreciate a like and subscribe and let me know what kind of photography gifts or ideas you've given someone in the past because um, yeah, I think I'm going to do this more often. Give the gift of photography, let's just put it that way. Anyways, I'll see you guys around.